Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to try to salvage some windy, very windy audio clips in my movie here. And I thought it'd be a cool thing to kind of show you. So let's get into it. I have one piece of video here that is very windy, but let me go ahead and make it bigger so you can actually see what we're working with here. So right about there. So everything except this one little peak right here is really really windy very distracting and there's nothing worse than having a video with bad audio or or lots of wind and stuff like that but there's one sound i want to save i'm trying to figure out how i can uh work with this and i thought it might be something that you'd like to see so i know from about here to about here i'm okay with this audio because it's the engine when he uh drives by and i want to hear that but the rest of it is just pure wind. So what I'm going to do is reduce all the sound except for that one little area. And then I'm going to drop an audio track below to give something, you know, some music to listen to. Instead of just having, you know, some video clips with a whole bunch of windy audio. That's just no good. So what I'm going to do is hold the R key. You'll notice you get this little yellow icon there. And then from the point where I don't want to hear, I'm going to move left. Then I'm going to grab the volume level here, and I'm just going to basically make it zero. On the other side here, I'm actually going to hold the R key again. And you'll see that little icon appear every time I push the R key on the keyboard. And I'm going to do the same thing. Hold the R key down and drag to the right. And then I will lower this audio here, which is just pure wind and irritating noise. So now in my video here, I only have the sound of the actual engine. But that's going to be kind of a boring video if we only have the, the engine sound of it coming down. So I need a little music here, which, which is what I'm going to do. Let me make some room. I'm going to go ahead and grab a little piece of music here. We're going to drag it down below. And let me make some more room here so we can see. So this clip is, is long, way longer. So I'll do a command B to split it there. And I'm going to delete that piece here. Okay, so now I only have audio on the clip itself. And what I want to do is kind of the inverse here. I want the music to actually be playing. Make it bigger. But when the, the actual engine sound is here, I want to make that actually lower. So I'll hold the R key. I'm going to highlight a little section here. And then I'm going to pull that down. So it puts the emphasis more on the engine sound than the music. So what's going to happen is the audio will ramp down while the engine sound is playing and then it'll ramp up and then continue to play the music. So that's pretty much what I did in the video. And if you look on my channel, the previous video, uh, you'll see the picture of this Mustang here in that video. You notice I put the music, but I actually did ramp it up in the areas that I wanted to hear the car because the wind was just so crazy and it was blowing really hard and just sounded terrible. So I figured how could I salvage it? And I decided that, I wanted to hear the engine sound once in a while to make it a little bit more interesting. And that's how I did it. Alrighty, that's it for today's tutorial. I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget, thumbs up, comment, and all that jazz. And we'll catch you in the next time. Peace and aloha. Aloha.